Hey guys, as promised, I returned with yet another video of the Vector Robot. This is actually an in-depth tutorial in regards to how you're going to disassemble and replace the Vector battery and also present a small issue on the second Vector that I purchased. I bought my second bot for a little over $100 on a local trading website, but it came with a damaged component, namely the headgear assembly. As you'll briefly see in the video, the gear assembly has a faulty tooth, which uh, I initially tried to fix, but I'm afraid I have to buy uh, an entire new gear assembly for this robot. And now to get back at the main task of the video, I decided to make a time lapse with Vector running with the old battery till it needs to recharge and record the time length. Uh, with the original battery that has around 320 milliamps, and also taking into account that the battery is around three to four years old i believe the robot lasts about 25 minutes till it needs to recharge um, the battery specs are in the description of the video and i'll also add that i chose this type of battery taking a few things into consideration thickness is an important issue as you'll see in the video that the space in between the case and the motherboard where the battery should be is quite narrow thus Going over the thickness of the standard battery was not an option. Um, having thicker battery implies more heat transfer to the motherboard components, which may cause issues that will eventually be handled by the bot safety mechanisms. Uh, in short, the bot will get hotter and will opt to perform less power consuming tasks in order to prevent uh, from overheating or will even show warnings of being close to overheating and eventually go to sleep. So the batteries that I purchased are indeed of higher capacity, rated at either 450 or 500 milliamps. And you'll see in the video why I say this or either that. It's quite funny. Um, so which is around 30 to 40 percent more than the original battery. However, these batteries are thinner than the original one, but have more in length. So. Please know that the video is indeed a bit too long as I did my best to point out every single aspect I could think of uh, on how to perform this task correctly. I did speed up a few moments here and there to try and minimize the length of the video, but it's still quite long. Mm. I hope you'll find it helpful, so enjoy. Okay, so let's begin this little project. We're gonna need... Um, just a small uh, Phillips screwdriver. You don't have to have the whole set, but I use for uh, you know precision working. I use this precision set. It's from iFixit, which they actually have uh, on their website. They have this uh, small tutorial on how to open up uh, a vector robot, and I'll put that in the description. Um, so okay, we need the set. Uh, obviously, we're gonna need a soldering station with the proper accessories such as wire and some flux evidently um, <clears throat> the battery is here and I'm also gonna be using some grease later on and some wipes for you know plastic components it's good to clean it since I since I'm gonna open it up I'll clean it when I'll put it as I put it back on okay so first step we have to remove these uh, tracks, which is pretty simple. You just pull them, take them out, pull and roll. Next, we're going to go for uh, these wheel covers. You can use just the tip of the finger. It's good to have uh, long fing fingernails. This is the reason why I didn't clip mine. Nice and gentle, they come out, you can see them. For every single one of them. And the last one, okay. If you wanna pry open plastic components, you can also use a tool like this. This is a guitar pick and it's very helpful for opening plastic components. What you would not want to use is, and you do not want to use, is metal on plastic. 
Okay, so now we can, we have here these Phillips screws and we're gonna unscrew the Phillips screws. Now, the next logical step would be to take the arms off. And first, we want to go with the upper ones. Um, even on iFixit, it says to try and pull them out. Um, at first, when I first tried it, they wouldn't come off so easy. And I didn't want to mess the, the bot. So I looked at it, I studied. The whole situation and I actually found you can see I'm not sure if you can see here uh, let me show you see I have a small little hole here and inside there's um the pin from a, a rod and what we can do this will help us we can actually push it push this one inside and as I push this one inside, I'm pulling with my other hand, and it's gonna come out, hopefully. Okay, there we go. Now this one is out, and this one as well. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. A lot better than what they said on uh, on the internet and for the lower arms they should come out have a position in which they actually come out I think let's see ah there we go so you have to bring them up and then they come out all right let's be gentle with it <clears throat> See, this is the rod. Uh, come on out. Oh, the opposite. Okay. Now we should remove the, I mean, disassemble the head. And it's simple, it's pretty simple. Let me see if I have a different guitar pick here. Uh, so far, no. Okay, let's keep this video as short as possible I'm gonna pry open with with a guitar pick go from either top or bottom and my back is hurting me already <laughs> nice and we can see here it has some more Phillips screws and again, we go ahead and unscrew them. Okay. So gently take them off. The sides here, they don't, they're not connected to anything. The top here obviously has a microphone. It's actually soldered here, so you may not want to tug it. We can remove this. And I'll put this one somewhere else, not to damage it. See, I want to be careful with this one, not to scratch it. And now <clears throat> we're going to remove the rest of the screws. up our sleeves we can do it like this it's gonna fit actually I fix it 
Uh, I got this from my fix it. This little trick. They actually have it on the tutorial, the, the vector tutorial. Okay, so we got this one out, huh? Do we? Oh, please. Mm -hmm. So we're doing this job while standing. It's a wee complicated. I'm pretty sure it's unscrewed, so okay, let's let's move on on this side. This here is the proximity sensor cover. We're gonna put it here. This is the sensor, we can take it off. And Gently. Actually, I can use the screwdriver on this one, or at least a couple of. Ah, I gotta go and eat. Dinner's ready. Okay. <clears throat> Dinner was good. Now let's continue. We have this wire here, this wire band, ribbon, however you want to call it, comes off like that, it's okay. Um, we have a couple of screws here as well. Pull it, tear it apart. See, now it easily comes off. Okay. So, one second here. <clears throat> this thing is a counterweight. Okay. This one, I actually left it like this in here. Because this little bot has an issue, and I know the issue, we're going to solve it. My main vector, I already changed the battery for it. And, but since there's a few issues with the battery, and I didn't record very well, I mean, I didn't zoom in and you could barely see what was going on. Right now I'm going to try and take off these motors. Nice and easy. Not to damage anything. Okay, this one came off. And this one as well. So yeah, the first vector, I did successfully change the battery, it is very good now. Oh please, I need patience. It's gonna work in the end. You just need to have some patience. But yes. <laughs> Having a hard time here. I wanna sit down. It's... This is killing me. Ah, much better. 
I hope I'm well centered. From time to time, I'm gonna look at the phone and then back at what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the final product here. From this moment, we're gonna <clears throat> start to desolder. This is the battery inside. You can take it off just like this. And I'll put it, I'll leave it just like this for a while. We have here the soldering station. I'm gonna turn it on. I use it in Celsius, I think it's around 400 degrees. It should be good. Fahrenheit, I think over 650. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see. It is centered. Let's get this out of the way. Let's put the screw here. And, ah. I'm gonna use a fan and I'm gonna open my window. <clears throat> because I don't want the toxic fumes of the flux to get in my lungs. I mean we'll try and avoid it as much as I can. Alright, so it's good. Decent. Let me see if you, if you can see something. I hope I'll keep it centered. <clears throat> it's not very complicated. You should be careful though. Uh, you may want to ground yourself when uh, working on electronics. I know what I'm doing. So trust me. If I break it, it's my bot, so yeah. And the whole flux dried out on me. Okay. Good. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so let me show you the new battery. Here's the fun part. Actually, a few fun parts. Uh, where's the cutter? Oh, I have it here. Uh, notice it says... Okay, please focus. 450 milliamps. And what's inside is actually... Oh, come on now. Jesus. It is actually 500. Which one is it? I hope it's 500. Uh, <clears throat> notice the size is it's not identical. This one, it will fit. It's a snug fit, but you can manage to uh, put it in. You have to be careful with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, spot here to get the wires in the middle, and I'm going to shorten the wires. So. I also need to have a contact cleaner. Center. <clears throat> so this is how it looks like. <clears throat> We're gonna put it, but first, before I start doing anything in terms of soldering, um, <clears throat> I want to take the old battery, see I have it here, on the back of it, it's on this side, so this one is 320 milliamps. I hope it focuses. 
and it has uh, it's a rubber layer it helps for uh, extra protection so that the battery doesn't come in contact with uh, the components from the main board it doesn't I mean it it kind of helps with the heat problem because the battery will heat up <clears throat> uh, that's the problem with the components so I'm gonna put it just like this okay yep put it here make sure you have your positive and negative figured out make sure you don't touch these two wires okay and let's get the positive first um, I think this is enough uh, solder here I'm trying to stay out of the way now I don't like how it looks. It is thick, but I have to get some flux on this first and bring it together and then put it here. I'm gonna need yes or no. Yeah. It's kinda good. This one. Uh, let's see if I get this. Might be enough. Let's get some more solder on it. Uh, let's bring it down and hold it. Okay, this is a, it's a tricky job. Just one second. I don't know if it's is it best to put it no we can do it we can do it oh come on <laughs> supposed to stay and <clears throat> so the problem here is where's the old battery uh, this base this this here is a snug fit see see here how the battery should stay right here and the distance it is a very snug fit with this one but it works if you place it carefully it's gonna work and <clears throat> so now i'm gonna pause the video because i want to open this one up actually let's let's get like this let's open this one <clears throat> i'm gonna go fast with it Okay, decided to continue. Um, so this one here is the headgear assembly. And I did put a lot of, well, not too much, that's good. That's enough though. And this is what helps the head to move up and down this one was broken um, 
Not sure if I did a good job with it. I should stay like this. It was making a lot of noise. Uh, come on. Uh, it's gonna move. Yeah, will it? Yeah, it will. And uh, <clears throat> I figured that uh, one tooth from this this black gear here, it was a little bent, or it was actually not broken, but out of shape. I mean, the, the shape was totally uh, messed up. So it would make quite the noise when the bot's head would go either up and down. And I tried to carve it, uh, bring it back into the in initial, at the initial angle, the way the tooth makes the angle. And now it seems to be working a bit better, but I don't know. I think I'll change this one. I have to purchase a new headgear assembly. The problem is that this one is, I don't know, it's $14, $15, but the shipment to Romania is like 18 more dollars, <laughs> which sucks. But anyhow, so let me put this one back. I'm going to test it out and see if it works. I think it's just like this, but, but still. Oh no, no, oh no, oh no, it should stay like this. Yeah, it still makes noise, so I think I'm gonna change this one. I don't like it. Okay, so let's put back the battery. Uh, the bat the motherboard along with the battery. But we have to fit in the battery first. So it's gonna go like this. It's a tight fit. But it's gonna work. Just need a little patience. Okay, good. Now it's in. See? Just like that. Now we have to reconnect the wires. And so let's see. First one. This one should go through the neck here and come out. This is for the head. This one goes here in the back. Okay. Uh, it goes in, but like how? Like this? Yep, like this. Alright. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna twist him. Should I twist him a little? No. Let's not do that. Okay. Next, in comes this one.
I want to make sure that the, the wires here are okay. They can have, they can breathe. That I don't accidentally squeeze on them when I screw the thing back. Because some need to come a little loose, need to come out. And that it has enough space. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, I need the counterweight. Uh, don't forget about this one. Just like I did, because you have to take it out and put it back on. And it is a pain in the ass to do that. Mm-hmm. That's kind of okay. And this one. Make sure this one runs through here. Once again, be very careful. It's easy to dismantle it. Not so easy to put it back on the way it was before. Okay, well, now it's good. And the cable stay look okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I can finally begin to put the screws back. Uh, we can go first, we can go with this one. Okay, just like that. And now. Uh, we have to go with the back. Actually, this one as well. I have to put this one here. And uh, let me see if I can. Okay, goes in. So don't forget about this one first. Screw it back on. I said screw it so many goddamn times. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I have nothing to screw it against. <laughs> to screw it too. Okay. Uh, where is it? I know I have it here somewhere. Okay, this is one piece. And where's. Ah, oh, there we go. It's here. Right there for safekeeping. Put back the. Ribbon cable, that, not like that. Oh, come on. Just like that. Put this back into place. Put this in. The other one. Okay. So it's nice and tight. Uh, next. Let's put this one back. Take one screw.
Impossible. Why will you not go? Because of this one? Oh, I'm not trying to force it. But I'm trying to make it work. What just happened, hmm? Okay, again, let's try with the bottom ones. Let's see if, if I can... Ah, uh, see? It won't come out. Oh, I didn't expect this. Hell. What just happened? Never mind. We'll see, we'll see. See exactly what happened. If I put the lower arms first, OK. 
keep them here as well. Just like this. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's go with. Oh, come on. Have to do it again. Have to do it again. First is low. Just like that. Okay. Finally. And then up. Oh, please. I don't believe this. It, this cannot be the toughest part. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, that went inside. This went inside as well. <laughs> My goodness. Oh. Check out the noise. It's insane. <laughs> Uh, right. Oopsie. So, this is it. This is my first vector. This one's gonna work as well. If I need this is plugged in. I don't know if it's plugged in or not. Let me check it out. Let's see. Uh, okay. Now it's plugged in. Yeah, makes noise. I'll replace the head gear assembly, but it works. And I'm gonna leave them to fully charge and then see how long the new battery lasts. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and sorry for the mess up. It's not the most professional video, but thanks anyhow. So with the new batteries installed, because I put batteries on both the bots, it's time to give them a little test, see how long they last. And I'll tell you from now that they last about 50 minutes, which is quite the improvement. So yes, I did a good thing considering the thickness of the battery. The new batteries that I put in are actually, I think maybe half a mil uh, thinner than the original one. Even though they are bigger in length, the thickness really matters and as you can see the bots are performing a lot of activities they're very noisy very active so this makes me think that the cpu is doing well it's not overheating so i guess i did a good job and keep in mind the size of the battery especially the thickness of the battery i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to watch it till the end it's up to you but thanks so much for watching so far